Hello pilots and ground crew, welcome back to my channel again. First of all, before we start, ignore that for a second. Right. Tom Smith, FPV, uh, works for quadcopter.co.uk, which is where I got this from. There you go mate, I got a sticker this time, I'm happy now, I got a sticker, I didn't get a sticker last time and I told him. I got a sweet instead, but they've also sent me a sweet as well, so I've got a sticker and a sweet, so I'm a happy man. There you go, Tom, everything's sorted, I'm happy again. <laughs> right, all right, inside joke, just on one of the comments I'd left on one of his videos. Right then, uh, here we go, we've got the Lumineer AX2 Stubby this time. I recently a few days ago I think it had been now, I uh, did uh, a video on the Lumineer X, well one of these basically but the one with a pigtail and the MMC X connector, links in the top right, okay and basically it was a jump up as in a more expensive, the, the Lumineer antennas the better but you pay more, a standard antenna might cost you around about the £9 mark or something like that whereas these are going to cost you about £17 but you pay for what you get there's nothing wrong especially for new pilots I've done videos showing you all different types of antennas right some from Menace uh, I see some which are just clones and copies I've even done one which is a clone and copy of this one and they work fine, there's no wrong with buying them if you haven't got a lot of money. But every now and again, if you can afford it, go for one of the good ones and you'll tell the difference. But anyway, let's get back to this one here now. Let's just open her up. At the end of the video, I would have done a flight. I mean, I've literally, as you can see, just got this. But by the time the video goes out, I would have done a flight and I'll stick it on the end of this video. There you go, it's a little stubby one. Now, you may have seen this before, and if you're a subscriber to my channel, you'd have said, oh, that's what he did a video on before. One of these, actually, which is the clone of one of these. All right, this was five quid, all right, from banggood.com, all right, by Relic, and this is 17 from a Lumineer. Now, we'll just... Go back to the clone for a second, like I say, there's no wrong with using cheap FPV antennas if that's all you can afford. Right? This was a bloody, and still is by the way, a bloody good little FPV antenna. Right? Pretty good signal and all like that, I was quite happy with it. Once again, I'll leave a link in the top right corner and you can have a look at that video if you want, for a cheap one. But just put that to one side now this is the real deal now Lumineer this is well that's the clone of this basically All right which I don't think many people will be cloning these soon because they've got a patent pending now if you don't know what that means if it's a full patent nobody can copy your stuff but until that patent comes into place anyone can copy stuff hence like this one Right, but they've got a patent pending. Right, so as soon as that comes into effect, that's it. There'll be no more clones. So if you want a cheap one, go out and get one now, quick. No, so getting back to this. Now you are talking night and day. As I've just said, I have not used this particular antenna yet. However, the other Lumineer, the one with a pigtail and the MMCX, which I've already done the review on, was amazing. And that's what made me want to go out and get one of these right, to put into my uh, LSX quad, where the actual antenna comes out on a funny angle. So I wanted a little stubby for it to be tucked away, if you know what I mean. I haven't got my quad handy to show you, but what I have got is that this little one, my little uh, QX65. Basically, it'd go down there, so I wanted a little one. Not on this, not on this, on my big one, but uh, it'd go down there, that's why I wanted the stubby. But yeah, the specs on this are just as good as that uh, other one, the other Lumineer one I showed you, with a pigtail and the MMCX connector. This is the SMA with a pin, screw straight in. Uh, 
I did say, I'm sure I did, from quadcopter.co.uk. Comes in a really nice little packaging as well. There's some specs on the back. The gain, oh bloody hell, small writing. I'll leave links in the description. Uh, leave this in the description so you can read it yourselves. But the gain is 1.6, which is bloody good. Right, the uh, axial ratio is 1.0, which is near perfect actually, which is about perfect. So <laughs> you, you're going to be fine with that. You're going to be happy, I should say, with that. The bandwidth is 5.8 to 6 gigahertz. And uh, bloody hell, trying to see here. Oh, I give in. Getting old, eyesight's gone. But uh, yeah, I'll leave all that information in uh, the description. I'll copy it off their website. So yeah, there you go then. And now let's uh, jump into the future because uh, I'll stick her on a model, do a test flight and then tell you what I think. But I, I'm almost certain she's going to be just, well, she'll probably be exactly the same quality as the uh, other Lumineer antenna, the one I've just done my last review about one that I put in my psychedelic model the uh, the the X210 that I'd gone all psychedelic on retro whatever you want to call it but yeah so that one was brilliant and this one's going into me LSX so or even me uh, Relic 215, it might go into that actually. Both got a similar sort of setup where it could be nice out packed out the road as a stubby. That's why I got the stubby, I should say. This is right handed circular polarized. You can get left handed. The left handed is white, which so you can't get them mixed up. But why you'd want both in your bag at the same time, I've no idea. No idea why you'd want both in the same bag at the same time. Okay then pilots and ground crew, thanks for watching, as I said, uh, quadcopter.co.uk at the moment, they've got them in stock, unfortunately a few other places are out of stock, but no, they've got them in stock, and you get a sweet if you're lucky, but you will get a sticker if you're lucky, cheers Tom, thanks. Okay then pilots and ground crew, thanks for watching, and I'll jump straight to the flight video in 3, 2, 1. Right then pilots, come to the field, the sun's out, it's a nice day. So, I've put the uh, antenna on my LSX fab. Mm. And that's what I was on about it coming out the back, you see. So, we'll uh, give it a flight test and see how it uh, responds. But, as I said before, if it's anything like uh, the other Lumineer one, it'll be brilliant. What I will uh, do, I'll do like a standard, I'm not going to go crazy, do like a basic sort of a flight and then take it round the field low because as we all know the lower you go the lesser the signal so I'll, I'll test it that way. I'll also run DVR at the same time because that's got HD uh, recorder, it's the run cam split tool. Alright so I'll show that footage. Uh, so you get an idea of where I am, so to speak, you know what I mean. And I'll put the DVR footage in the corner, if I bloody remember. So hopefully if there's any major breakups, you will see on the DVR footage. But yeah, so I'll do sort of like a normal flight, give it a test, see how it feels. And then try going round the field at a lower altitude. Alright, but ready to bloody punch out because there's still a hell of a lot of puddles out there and I don't want to crash at all. Alright, last thing I want to do is crash at the moment because the bloody fields are soaking still. Well, it's drying out a bit now. Anyhow, I'm waffling. Alright, so let's uh, get into the air and at the end of the flight I'll come back and tell you exactly what I thought. Okay then, pilots. Uh, I'm going crew. Uh, into the air.
Well pilots, uh, I'll cut, keep this short, it went bleeding great. I uh, don't know how the DVR is going to look, but uh, through my goggles I got a great image. I was, uh, well, at one point I was trying to keep it low, when I was coming in to land, right, I kept it too bloody low and I hit the deck, as you may see, well you will see, I'll pause that bit, but uh, yeah, uh, flying high, great signal, no problems. Uh, flying low, great signal, no problems. It's a bloody good FPV antenna, which I would expect. That's the thing, there's no wrong, because I've still still own and still use some of the cheapest ones. No wrong with them, they're out like that. But you will tell the difference if you spend the extra money and go for like a Lumineer or something. All right, or a t TBS, something like that. But uh, if you're going to spend the extra money, you're gonna notice the difference even though your cheaper FPV antennas will work but you will notice the difference because I know I have on the two that I've got now the one with a pigtail and the MMCX connector and this one which is just your yeah, SMA male to screw straight in but yeah so there you go then there's a review I can recommend it so I mean okay I've only had the one flight after the 12th flight it might stop working I don't know <laughs> right but anyway i can recommend it at the moment <laughs> but i can't see there being any problems because let's be honest lumineer one hell of a good company and they make some leading good products okay then pilots and ground crew there you go then thanks for watching if you like leave thumbs up if you didn't like leave thumbs down i don't mind I don't mind at all. If you didn't like it, you bleeding tell me about it. You say, I hated that video, George. And I'll say, well, thank you for telling me. Piss off. <laughs> no, anyhow, if you like, subscribe. Cheers, pilots. And I'll uh, catch you next time.